Congratulations on your purchase of Scissorlift SL featuring environmental airspace housing by Draper Incorporated. This video will cover proper product installation. Please view the entire video carefully before beginning installation. You can download a more detailed PDF version of these instructions at draperinc.com. Warning! Improper installation and use of the Scissorlift SL can result in serious injury or death. Primarily, injuries can occur if the unit falls due to imprecise installation, mishandling of the unit during installation, or installation on an insufficient wall or ceiling structure. Please use extreme care. Draper recommends installation be performed by experienced, qualified installers and is not responsible for improper installation, application, testing, or workmanship related to the product at place of installation. If you have any difficulties with installing, servicing, or operating your Scissorlift SL or environmental airspace housing, call your dealer or Draper Inc. at 1-800-238-7999. Tools required for installation include a pencil or marker, power drill, wrenches, screwdrivers, cutting pliers, utility knife, level, tape measure, and zip ties. The environmental airspace housing is shipped unassembled and must be assembled by the installer. Be sure to inspect all items prior to assembly. Before beginning installation, look for any site conditions that could interfere with installation or operation of the scissor lift. Draper recommends a two-phase installation for scissor lift units with environmental airspace housing. You will need to assemble the environmental airspace housing frame to the main unit and prepare all panels and trim at ground level prior to attaching the unit to the overhead structure. The optional environmental airspace housing must be installed to isolate the lift from the other space used for environmental air. The height of the environmental airspace housing is set by punching or drilling out the knockouts at the desired locations, then using screws to connect side panels. Please note, you will need to determine which assembly holes will be needed at each particular installation and knock them out prior to installation. Attempting to drill or punch out screw holes against the scissor lift assembly may damage the unit. Additionally, you will need to punch out the access ports for power and data cables. When shipped, the standard scissor lift SL arrives with mounting brackets attached to the top four corners, which must be removed when using the SL size environmental airspace housing. These can then be replaced with the brackets which are included with the SL size environmental airspace housing. Note, environmental airspace housing sizes E, B, and U do not require changing brackets. Next, attach environmental airspace housing top frame to the top of the scissor lift with bolts provided. Then, install the top panel to the environmental airspace housing frame. To complete ground level unit preparation, assemble the trim frame and closure panel. Attach the scissor lift assembly to the overhead structure. Remember to allow clearance between environmental airspace housing top and the structure for ease of future access. Next, temporarily connect the power and control cables to the lift. Raise and lower the lift to remove foam packing. Then, reroute the cables through the circular access port in the environmental airspace housing panel. Once all cables are connected, attach the environmental housing panel to the frame. Next, install side panels working one panel height at a time and then around the remaining three sides. Please note, where the panels meet, they extend out and do not wrap around the corner. Install the next lowest panel and work around as before. Repeat with each level of panels until entire height of environmental housing has been assembled. Attach the trim ring to the bottom panel of the environmental housing and secure using a washer and nut. To complete hardware installation, lower the scissor lift and attach the assembled closure panel. Once the nuts on the threaded rod are tightened, use zip ties to secure the position of the threaded rod to the closure panel. Finally, be sure that the scissor lift unit's upper limits accommodate the closure panel and the full height of the environmental airspace housing panels. Limits may need to be reprogrammed or adjusted at this time. Failure to set proper limits may lead to damage to the unit. When installing in a hard ceiling, it is recommended that an access panel be installed in the ceiling to allow future access to the scissor lift unit. 
This concludes installation for the Scissorlift SL with environmental airspace housing. If further support is needed, please contact your dealer or Draper Incorporated at 800-238-7999.